Madrid, Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And if there's ever been a rant-worthy story, this is a rant-worthy story. Photographer in high school, Anthony Mazur, was called down to the principal's office. Now, he's a photographer at the school for the yearbook, just shooting the sports, selling some of the images back to the kids and the parents, and sharing his images online. Well, he was called down to the principal's office where he was threatened, I would like to say he was bullied, into saying that if you don't take down these pictures and stop doing what you're doing, being one, you don't own the rights to it, and two, we're going to suspend you if you don't do that. Now, I'm going to hold my thoughts until the very end after this interview because I have Anthony Mazur right here because we did an interview, and why don't we listen to what he has to say, and then I will be right back to then give my commentary. All right, I am joined here with Anthony Mazur. Anthony, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm hanging in there. So I, I, I like the um I like the shirt you had made up and I and and I like the little hashtag going on there. Yeah, thanks, yeah. So I actually got a lot more successful. We're kind of shocked with all the input we've been getting. Yeah. Well wh- why don't you bring everybody up to speed on the the quick points on what happened here? Oh, so the quick point, really, basically, I went to a class, the school set me on, the yearbook class, we went on a trip down to San Antonio, where there's like a, seminars and experts teaching about different things that yearbooks or publications would need to know about. And we were taught that as students, we could sell our pictures we took. And I was, well, I asked the teacher after the class that I'm using a school camera well, press pass at a school game. Can I still do this? Do I own the pictures? And she told me that I could and that her students do it all the time. And now they're working as interns at Dallas Morning News and things like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I started doing it. And so I started selling pictures, putting on law in my Flickr account, contacting news organizations. And then I was kind of told I can't do that. Right. So run <laughs> Run me through what happened. What, 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 yeah, basically what happened when you got called down to the principal's office. All right. So I was called down to the principal's office and then up on the, his computer screen was my Flickr site with all my pictures on it. And he asked me if the site was still up and active. And I replied that, yeah, it was. And then he got really angry at me. He started saying that it's illegal. I don't own the pictures. I'm not allowed to post them. I can't do that. And so then I replied, I, I, cause he didn't really know about the trip I took to San Antonio. So I told him that's what I was taught on the trip that the other people do it. They, they taught me that. And I started talking about us copyright law, title 17. that says whoever is the author or owns the picture. He can do with it, whatever he wants, sells it. And so we got into a debate over that debating a lot then he started switching his argument to privacy reasons he started saying there are pictures of minors and that like something to do with it and that i couldn't do that and got into all these like privacy public issues and then i think you're just getting really frustrated and because i wasn't really i didn't see his argument i couldn't accept what he was saying and so he just started making, I guess, threats. He threatened me with in-school suspension if I didn't comply. He made comments about not asking me for money back or that he wouldn't report me to the IRS for not filing taxes. I and mean, I thought he was trying to be pretty coercive, and I don't think that was right. And so I just have to say, I think it's best we get my parents in here. Yeah, which is which is kind of interesting that they would threaten you and being a minor or attempt to quote unquote bully you into taking something down without your parents yeah. kind of uh, talking. Yeah. Um. So did you, you ended up taking them down? Uh, the next day we met with my parents and they gave us an administrative directive telling me to take the pictures down within twenty four hours and. I did that. Or else what? They said I could have gotten an in-school suspension. They could take away access to school camera equipment. 
and they could ban me from extracurricular activities and sporting events. And their reasoning being... The you... administrative directive stated that the reason was I posted pictures with the intent to profit. Which there's nothing wrong with. There, we haven't seen any policy that says we, I'm not allowed to profit. So I, I'll, I'll ask you, you guys signed it, and it, how come you didn't push the envelope a little more? Well, we, we didn't want to risk anything, like, on my educational record. We didn't want to, like, because suspension might, that shows up, and we don't, we don't want that. So we just decided we're going to sign it. We're just going to say, yeah, we acknowledged you gave us this. We're going to do what you say for now, but we're going to go through the appeal process to fix it. Right. And, and, and the, one, the one thing that makes absolutely zero sense is to say that you can't post pictures um, when they're requesting kids submit pictures to them for them to put on the social media. Uh, and their principals are taking pictures and posting them to their social media, the same events I go to. Right. So it's it's a little heavy handed there, especially when they're doing that. Or, you know, a newspaper comes in and takes photos of kids playing sports. They are a newspaper and they're going to publicize it. They're not getting told, no, you can't do this because they're minors. The way that I look at it is they're athletes. They're playing publicly. They're playing for school. Yeah. But it's for all the world to see. I mean, you don't know how many times that I mean, I was in your same position as a 15, 16 year old kid shooting games for high school um, for the yearbook. But I used to sell them to the players and to the parents. And this was before we could throw stuff on the Internet because we just didn't have that. At, I mean, we had it, but we didn't have what you have today. And it was it was never an issue. And I can honestly say that I've gone back to my high school where nobody knows me anymore. And I've walked onto the football field this year to to review a camera and nobody stopped me because I look like I belong. And, you know, it's kind of the same same. There. And you have kids that are posting pictures inside of school of selfies and other yeah. kids doing whatever they're doing and posting it online. So it's, it's kind of heavy handed. Yeah. What, what's the next step here? Well, after that meeting, we filed the appeal with the head principal, which we were denied. Then we had to file another appeal to the superintendent. Though I think it was the head of student services. Like we we're just switching superintendents. Like, Though one wasn't like officially in or something, so we had to submit it to the acting superintendent. And due to the whole appeal process, he had a week, seven days to get us his official written response, which should have came in last Monday. It did not. It was late. And that's when we started the whole hashtag I am Anthony. That's when we launched. So have you been shooting still? Oh, yeah, I've been going to other games. It's not going to stop me. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Right. right. I know I know. for me, I love, I love uh, well, I don't like controversy, but controversy seems to have found me throughout my life. Or I, I've, I haven't been afraid to stand up for myself or for other people um, where wrongdoings are being had. And in this case, it's just such hypocrisy to come after you for taking initiative to, to be, you know, a photographer for the school, yeah. which is great. You know, you found the direction you want to take. You started to sell some of the things, which I'm sure it wasn't, you're not making a ton of money off of something along those lines. People aren't forced to buy that. Uh, they're offering up to buy that. And you're sharing images over the internet. There is, you're not doing anything different than what any other kid or person is doing at school. And and then the worst part is that the school themselves are requesting photos and taking photos and posting them. How is that any different than what you're doing? It just makes absolutely no sense. You get it? Um, yeah. So what, what would you like people to do to help you? Um, right now we're just asking to spread the word, just – Use the hashtag, hi, I'm Anthony. Just get the word out there. Let everyone know that we as artists need to stand up. I mean, this probably isn't the first time it's happened to someone. There's got to be someone out there that's been through the same situation. And maybe now they didn't stand up. But now maybe if we all stand up, we can actually let everyone know. No, 
school. You can't take our pictures. We own our pictures. We took them. We, we built our career. This is ours, and you can't take that away from us. Right, or they can't threaten you uh, with in-school suspensions because you're just taking photos and sharing them with the world. Uh, and it, it, you know, the, the thing that I always come back to is if somebody, you know, needed privacy for whatever reason in a, in a, in a school level because they're minors, then they wouldn't be participating in a sport that's open to anybody, to, for anybody to walk in and see. Because I know there are there's those situations where uh, there's divorces or somebody was adopted and then, you know, they – they just aren't in the limelight, but people are choosing to play sports and everybody has a camera and news organizations come out and yearbook photographers come out. You can't set, you can't stifle the ability to put images out into the world. If you don't want your pictures taken in certain situations, especially in a sporting event, you're not going to play. Ha- have, what have the students in the school, your friends or other students said at this point? Um, I'm actually friends with bunch of players on a lot of different teams and they actively shared the link to my Flickr site and they always say how much they love them and they really appreciate me coming out to the games. They're always excited when I'm there. And then after this started, they're like, what privacy issue? One of the, the softball player I know was saying, yeah, we have like these guys that we don't even know come to our games all the time and take pictures for yeah. the news yeah. or anything. Exactly. They know they, they know people are taking their pictures. They know they're in a public sporting event. So I'm not really sure what's the issue. Sure. H- have any teachers uh, backed you up and gone against the administration? Um, I have had some teachers say that they hope everything turns out well for me, that they seem pretty supportive of it. All right. I, I mean, I, 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 all, all I can say is I'd continue to do what you're doing, and I wouldn't personally, in it, me, if it was me, I because uh, I'm not in your shoes anymore. But I would just start posting pictures again and have fun, <laughs> and just push the envelope and 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 find you know. I mean, I love pushing the envelope. You you, you honestly have. I don't want to overstep. You know, the, your your parents are there as well, and I and I understand the 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 record and everything these days and having that stuff. But I think what would resonate more into the future is the fact that you've stood up for yourself and that you started a campaign that has picked up national attention. And that to me means a hell of a lot more on a, you know, means a hell of a lot more than anything than a transcript. Um, that's just me. Don't let the school bully you around. They have the whole, I'm not, you know, anti-bullying stuff and they're <laughs> doing the exact same thing instead yeah. of calling your parents in the first place and asking them to come in. They just, tried to railroad you out of the uh out of doing what you're doing yeah so um where can people find more information to help you um i currently have an image up i am anthony on my Flickr that has in the description the account of what happened basically the story of what's going on i know certain sites like petapixel.com wfaa the Louisville texan journal those online sites all have great articles and just keep following me on Twitter. You'll get updates and sure, things sure. as they come. And that's just really the best way to stay up on top of I am Anthony. The, the, the one person that I would want to get involved would, uh, would be a Mark Cuban. <laughs> you know, he's, he's sports, he's Texas. And, uh, I, he's a guy that's not afraid to stand up for something. So I, I'm going to, I'll, I'll start tagging him in things when we uh, put this up and see if he, you know, gets his ear because he's the kind of guy that won't stand for something along these lines. So, all right. I will wish you good luck, and I, and I thank you for coming on and, and having the conversation. Thank you. We appreciate being on here. We appreciate any help and support you can get. What a really cool kid. Anthony has his head screwed on straight. He is doing the research. He's getting educated. He's making sure that he knows what he's talking about, where it seems like the school may not know what they're talking about. So let's look at this, and and let's look at both sides. One, he's taking photos at school. Doesn't matter whose gear he's using. He takes the pictures. 
He owns the pictures. He can sell the pictures. He can share the pictures. He can do whatever he would like with the pictures. Now, on the flip side, the school, ha they can say something about privacy because they're minors or they're underage, but the hypocrisy behind that is that the school posts images on their social channels without thinking about it. So if they're going to post the same style photos, look, if Anthony took photos, gave them to the yearbook, the yearbook then went ahead and posted them online on the school newspaper, uh, shared them on their social streams, where's the difference? There is no difference there. So it's like saying that, you know, you can't post these images because you're selling them and you're making money and there's minors involved. But why can a newspaper go in and do it? Why can a random guy or girl show up at an event, I've done this before at high schools, without permission, I just show up and I take pictures. You know, I, you do it, you look official, you say I'm, I'm shooting for the newspaper. Okay, well why is that any different? Why is it okay for them to show up and then just post pictures willy-nilly wherever they want? That makes no sense. And if you're going to say that he can't post photos because of privacy concerns, then you're basically saying that anybody in school that takes a picture and shares it on the Internet, well, they're liable to basically get an in-school suspension. So I'd like to see where this ends up. I think we need to bring more light to it, so share this out into the world. If anybody has a connection with Mark Cuban, being that this is a Texas thing and it has something to do with sports, I think the guy that, that should be notified is Mark Cuban, and I'm going to do my best to make him aware of this to see if I have any connections anywhere, which I, I, I actually I think I do have a connection somewhere other than Twitter, and hopefully he catches wind of this, and then he calls Anthony and says, I want you to come down and shoot the Mavericks. Come on and do whatever you want. Shoot the photo, and I'm going to pay you, and we're going to do all That's what kind of guy Mark Cuban is. But this is a bunch of crap. I applaud Anthony for taking a stand, um, and fighting this, I would push more buttons. You have nothing to lose. In my opinion today, you have nothing to lose. I understand the transcript thing, and at 16, it's, yes, that threat of, of it's going to go on your permanent record uh, means a lot, but I don't think you have anything to worry about. Like I said during the interview, standing up for yourself in this way, creating a campaign that gets national attention means a hell of a lot more to me than a grade in school. The kid's well-educated. The kid's smart. He's got his head screwed on straight. He just wants to create and capture images. Leave the kid alone. He is doing nothing wrong. Get your heads out of your asses, people at that school, and just say, mea culpa, our bad. Come back and shoot photos. We're sorry for being dicks. That's me speaking, not anybody else. Thank you guys for listening. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.